Hello guys, good evening. Good evening. Hello guys, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Well, if you can hear me, welcome to another class here at Inglés Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and I'm going to be your teacher for this module. So I got Nidia, Adrian, Gabriela, Vanessa, and Douglas. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, yes. I can hear you. Yes. 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 Hello. Yes. It seems that I'm having issues hearing you guys. Let me check that everything is fine. One moment. All right. Can you hear me, guys? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Fantastic. So we are back on track. So it's good to see you, Nidia. It's good to see you guys. All right. Before we start, I want to set some sub expectations, okay? I am here to help you out. I'm here to solve your doubts. And I'm here to help you learn English. So as far as the rules that we have in the class, uh, pretty much let's try to keep a quiet environment, okay? Uh, let's try to avoid, which I know sometimes is, is very difficult, background noise. So if at your place there is a, there's a lot of background noise, if you're not participating, go ahead and mute your phone, your microphone, and I will be muting them as well if, I'm, if we are having a lot of background noise. Also, as a friendly reminder, you always have to work on the platform. Right? Do you all have access to, to the platform, guys? Hey, good, yes, good evening. Sir. Good evening. Yes, uh, I did. I worked right. in that platform. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. So, if we are all connected to the to the platform. Let's go ahead and start with today's class. Do you have any question before we start? <clears throat> no, teacher. No? All right. Teacher, very good. Tell what's me. your name? My name is Alejandro Narbona at your service. Okay, my name is Lori Waldon. Hello, Rodrigo. It's a pleasure to meet you all. All right, so. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. If we have no more questions, guys, remember we're going to be working every single day from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. And uh, this class is from Monday to Thursday. All right. Okay. So, guys, let's get it started. I already joined the WhatsApp group. So, if you have any question, you can also post it there. Okay. 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 All right. Now, I focus a lot on pronunciation. So, I'm going to be sharing the screen and I will ask you to repeat with me so you can improve your pronunciation. Try to repeat everything exactly the way I say it. That way, you're going to be able to copy intonation. You're going to be able to copy linking words, etc. All right. So okay. let's go ahead and share the screen so you can see it. All right. So read with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson All of you. objective. Mm -hmm. At the same time. Um, it's good to say, guys, that I know that some of you might be uh, used to a different type of class, but I wanted to speak, so everyone is going to be talking with me, okay? Okay. All right. If you have any further question, something you do not understand, let me know, and I'll be glad to help you. So, please repeat with me. Lesson objective. Lesson, Lesson objective. objective. Lesson objective. There you go. At the end of this session... Participants will be able to practice using clauses and phrases showing contrasts and exceptions. Go, please. At the end of this session, participants will be able to practice using clauses and phrases showing contrasts and exceptions. All right, very good. So I need, please, Adrian, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, thank you, Adrian. Go ahead and read, please. At the end of this session, Okay. At the end of this section, participants will be able to practice using clauses and phrases showing contrast and exception. Very good. Say it with me, please. Contrast. 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 Mm -hmm. The stress is in the O. All right. Very good, guys. So what comes to your mind when you hear the word contrast? Comparing. Um, comparing. All right. You kind of have an idea. Opposite things. Opposite. 
correct. Opposite, sorry. Mm -hmm. Don't be, hey, that, that's good. It's good. I love that you said sorry. Because my rules are three. Try. Yeah. Expect. And don't be sorry. Because you're here to make mistakes, okay? So, okay. it's okay. The correct form, it is contrast. Uh -huh, it is contrast and also opposite. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So say it with me, guys. Opposite. 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 Correct. So now, I'm going to play this video. All right? I'm going to share it with audio so we can all be on the same page. After this, we're going to be working in groups, okay? All right, there we go. loaded right now so everybody hi welcome to advanced screen you're about to learn how to show contrast and exception stay and pay attention to the explanation clauses and phrases showing contrast and exception use while unlike and in contrast to in order to present contrasting information especially in writing while the typical italian person thinks the school is boring the typical Japanese person doesn't. Unlike the Japanese, Italians seem to drink a lot of bottled water. In contrast to Italian drivers, Japanese people drive on the left. Use except. All right, so let's go ahead and pass it right here. Now, here, as you can see, guys, we are using clauses. Do you know what a clause is? Do you have any idea what clause is? Anybody? No one? All right, don't worry. A clause, guys, pretty much is a sentence. Okay, what okay. is a clause, guys? Sentence. A sentence. Mm -hmm. If you want to keep it simple, a clause is a sentence. So what we do here is that you are using phrases to compare, to make some contrast between two different sentences. If you notice, the typical Italian person thinks school is boring. This is one sentence, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we have the typical Japanese doesn't is another sentence. Why don't okay. we have more information after doesn't? Because it's the same. Thinks school is boring. Well, doesn't think in this case because of the third person. So to avoid repetition, we do not include think school is boring. But we are using two sentences here. So who can tell me what is the meaning of while? Um, mientras. In the meantime. Mm -hmm. While, wow, pretty much just like mientras. So, mientras la persona italiana típica piensa que la escuela es aburrida, el típico japonés, no. All right, so pretty much we're having two. Who can give me an example using while at the beginning? While, while I'm... While I'm studying uh, with us, uh, with uh, my classmates, okay. uh, my wife is, is watching some movies. Okay. Hey. Very, very good. I mean, the example is good. However, here we are not showing, how can I say this? Yeah, we can use it. We can use it. But I want to make sure we have this clear. The example that you're saying is while, mientras. So pretty much two things happening at the same time, right? Mientras yo estudio en el grupo, mi esposa ve televisión. So those will be two things happening at the same time. Okay. Okay. If we want to have contrast here, we're going to have to add something that let the speaker know that we are actually doing that, some contrast. Okay. okay, so how do you say, for example, um, mientras, la, mientras los salvadoreños pueden ir a la playa o a la, y a la montaña el mismo día, los, la mayoría de los estadounidenses no. While the Salvadorian people uh -huh. can, uh, can go to the beach and, and mountain. Mountain. Mountain, Mountain. Mm -hmm. um, the same American, day, the same day mm -hmm. American people can't. Uh -huh. Exactly. 
So here is not two things at the same time. We are making emphasis that it's a contrast. Is it clear? Do we understand this? Yeah. All right. So how do you say, do, do I have people from San Miguel here? Anybody no. from San Miguel? No? All right. So as you may know, in San Miguel, they propose us with mayonnaise, right? How do you say, oh, yeah. how do you say curtido? Uh, but... uh, curtido is tanning. What? Tanning. 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 Mm -hmm. T-A-N-N. I N G tanning. Tanning. Mm -hmm. Tanning. Uh -huh. Like so, you are tan. Uh-huh. Exactly. Like you're getting tan under the sun, like a sun bath. So mm -hmm. how do you say mientras Why? San Miguel comen pupusas mm -hmm. con mayonesa? <laughs> while while in San Miguel. <laughs> uh huh. While people, because in English while people, while, while, while people in San Miguel. Uh, eating pupusas? Eat, eat pupusas. Eat pupusas. With, with tanning. With, with, um, yeah, we can say no. with may mayonnaise tanning. How mayonnaise. do you say mayonesa? Mayo. Mayo. Mayo or like tengo mayo. Right? Mayonnaise. <laughs> or mayonnaise. 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 Uh -huh. Either or. <laughs> Las personas en San Salvador no. Pe so, uh huh. People in San Salvador uh, doesn't. doesn't. Doesn't, exactly. Do we have it clear? Do you have any questions about this while to contrast? No. Okay. No? Okay. All right, very good. Make sure that if you have any type of question, you let me know because we're going to be making groups and you will be giving your examples. So start thinking in some examples. Next one. Read it, uh, well, read it with me. Unlike the Japanese, Unlike, Unlike the, the Japanese, Japanese, Italians seem to drink a lot of bottled water. Italians, Italians seem to drink, to drink, drink a lot, lot of bottled water. Of water. water. Okay, very good. Who can translate this to Spanish so we can have an idea? A diferencia de los japoneses, los italianos parecen beber mucha agua embotellada. There you go. Fantastic. Who was that, Vanessa? Sí. All right, yes. yes. <laughs> All right, thank you, Vanessa. So, um... How do you say? Uh, a diferencia de Estados Unidos, El Salvador no tiene tanta población. Unlike American people, Salvadorians don't have many. Uh -huh. How do you say población? Population. There you go, population. So here, let's go ahead and use the countries. Unlike the United States, El Salvador doesn't have much population. Mm -hmm. Say it with me, please. Unlike the United States, unlike the unlike United, United States, States, El Salvador States. doesn't have as much population. El Salvador, El Salvador doesn't, doesn't have, have population. population. Mm -hmm. population. Alright, very good. Who can give me an example using unlike? I need a volunteer or a victima. Anybody? All right, let me see. It's going to be Teacher Julia. Please. All right, go ahead. Okay. Unlike, unlike my father, I think it is important to study English. Mm -hmm. Or no? Yes, I, I like the example. Does your father study English? No. Nope. <laughs> All right. Just in the past. In the past. Okay, so we can say, unlike my father, I study English. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, okay. so we can link the idea. Very good example, Douglas. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Any question we don't like? Um. No? All right. So let's go ahead and continue. So say with me, please. In contrast to Italian drivers... Contrast, Contrast to Italian drivers. drivers. Japanese people drive on the left. Japanese people, Japanese people drive, drive, on drive on the left. left. Very good. Here in El Salvador, do we drive on the right or on the left? On the right. On the right. On the right. Mm -hmm. on, the, on the right. Except if you're drunk, you know, and you can drive on the left. <laughs> that's, that's what is good. that? <laughs> what is that? 
All right, very good. So who can translate that to Spanish? A, dif a diferencia de o en contraste, mm -hmm. en contraste de los, itali los itali eh, en contraste de los italianos, eh, jap los japoneses, las personas japoneses manejan en la a la izquierda. Correct. Exactly. They drive on the left. So, guys, who can tell me what pretty much is the main difference between while, unlike, and in contrast to? Do we have any difference? Or can we use them, I mean, interchangeable? Anybody? Basically, it's the same. There you, you are go. contrasting. Things. There you go, Nidia. So, pretty much, guys, all of these phrases, they express the same. And what do they express? Contrasting. Contrast. 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 Correct. So if you learn how to use them with while, unlike, in contrast to, you're going to sound like a person with a lot of vocabulary. You know, this enriches your vocabulary. So guys, are yeah. you ready to start practicing? Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to be creating some groups, right? And uh, I want to start talking about your own personal life, giving examples. Make it personal so you can always remember it or you have more chances of remembering it, all right? Okay. All right, fantastic. So let me go ahead and get you into groups. I have 17 people right now. All right, let's do groups of four. You're going to be receiving an invite. Go ahead and click it so you can join the rooms and I will be visiting you one by one, all right? There we go. Okay. <coughs> All right, please join the groups. All right, there we go. We're just waiting for Gilberto, Federico, there we go. Okay. Hey guys, I'm here just in case you have any questions, all right? I'm gonna be here with you for a minute. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, we have to give some examples with the unlike, while, and contrast. In contrast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Correct. And try to make it personal so you, so you can remember. While. Uh, I am uh, receiving English classes. <laughs> My family is in a meeting. <laughs> okay, that's, it is good with contrast, but um, I would recommend you to, to, to say it a little bit different. Uh, no, no actions, right? You say that. The thing is that it is contrast. It is always contrast. But we are most likely using it like two situations happening at the same time, Lord. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me give you another example. While I ride my motorcycle to work, my girlfriend rides the uh, the uh, drives the car. The car. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I'm using it as a, as a thing that normally happens. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just While Salvadorians enjoy pupusas, uh, Mexicans enjoy eating tacos. There you go. You got it, girl. All right. So you're on the right track. I'm going to leave you for a few minutes, and I'll go check another another group. You got it. Um, uh, teacher, maybe uh -huh. could be unlike a lot of people that have to take the bus to um, go to her job. I just have to cross the street. There you go. That's another one. Mm -hmm. Now, just make sure that you that you use they because you're saying a lot of people, right? So you gotta okay. use the, the. Oh yeah. Sorry. They. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. You're here to make mistakes and to learn. Thank you. All right. Continue. You got this, guys. I'll check another group. Okay. Maribel, can you hear me? 
Yeah. Hi. Hi, Maribel. My name is Alejandro Narbona. I'm, I'm the teacher in this course. And right now we are we are working in groups. All right. So, oh, okay. Thank you. Nice you're welcome. Meet you. Nice meeting you. I'm going to add you to one of the groups so you can so you can start working with them, okay? All right, just one moment, please. Give me a second because it's not giving me the option to join you to our group. One moment, please. I'm sorry, repeat your name, please. My name is Alejandro Narbona. Alejandro Narbona. Mm -hmm. mm. Give me just a second, please. Yeah, it's not letting me at you. It doesn't show me your name so I can join a group. Yeah, it doesn't let me add you. This is what I'm gonna do, Maribel. Um, give me just a minute. I'm gonna close the other group so I can reopen them again, all right? Okay, thank all right. you. You're welcome, give me just a minute. I'll be right back. Just for you to know, we are working on, uh, on the first part of the platform, all right? We are with yeah. the video, classes and phrases showing contrast and exceptions. Contrast and exceptions, mm -hmm. okay. Correct. All right, I'll be right back. Thank you for your patience. Like they are singing. Uh -huh. or with Or with a um, accent. Yes, because of their accent. So you can recognize them. Because, because of the accent. Habla, hablan cantaditos. Yeah. Well, like that. <laughs> yes. Uh, and the teacher, uh, the in the moment I, I came, he says that in contrast to Italian drivers, Japanese people drive on the left because mm -hmm. the the Occidental world uh, we driving to the right, okay. and people in in the Oriental way uh, driving on the left. That is in using in contrast to. There the you go. Is, from comparison in while uh, from comparison i'm i'm here sorry, by the way teacher. sorry sorry teacher <laughs> i I, no, I, I just saw him the the platform because uh, we didn't we, we didn't check no no yes. don't worry don't worry that would be in problem. in comparison instead of in comparison in comparison, mm -hmm. in comparison. Okay. comparison. Mm -hmm. all right okay. um guys i'm going to go back to the main room okay okay, okay. Teacher. thank you all right maribel thank you very much for waiting so right now i'm bringing everyone back to the main session okay okay all right so thank you people is starting to come back to return there we go. All right, guys. So, were you able to practice? Hello? Yes, I did. All right. So, in the meantime, do you have any question? It doesn't matter if it's small. Do you have any question about how to use these type of clauses and phrases? <sighs> Okay, while, while, while mm -hmm. in Spanish is mientras. There you go, correct. Okay, unlike is in Spanish um, a diferencia. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Yes. Okay. And in contrast, in contrast, it's very easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. In contrast, in contrast, or also a diferencia. They might mean pretty much the same it's, thing. It's the same. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. something that you're going to see in the video is that if you notice, you have while. While. The typical Italian person, so that will be clause number one. And then you have a comma. Yeah. And the second yeah. clause. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if you, you can also say it differently. You can say, the typical Italian person thinks school is boring, while the typical Japanese person doesn't. So you have two options. Or you use the, uh, the word, the phrase at the beginning with a comma between the clauses, or you use while right between the clauses with no comma. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can anybody give me an example using the second, the second one, unlike? Um, Any volunteer, you don't have to fight for being a volunteer, just one. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike my husband, I like to eat Chinese food. There you go, there you go. Now we use it in the different way, with unlike in between the, uh, the sentences. I like to eat Chinese food unlike my husband. There you go, girl, excellent. That's it, that's it. You can use either or the one that you feel more comfortable with all right okay. and i need a, another volunteer with the last example using in contrast um i i like run running i like running um at night in con in contrast my wife she likes running at uh, at the morning almost perfect in the morning in the morning in the morning mm -hmm. there in the you morning. go there you go but very good example i liked it all right guys so let's move forward to the next one let's watch the video real quick i'm gonna share the video with you oh my god the dogs sounds like a very <laughs> big dog super big <laughs> i wouldn't get into your house no matter if you invited me with that dog all right, so let's make it happen. Now you can see and you should be able to hear, okay? There we go. Once it loads. Okay. That, except for, and except for the fact that, to show an exception. Both like TV, except that the typical Japanese person watches more of it. Italian and Japanese people are fairly different, except for the age they get married. Japanese people typically consume less, except for the fact they drink more tea. The conjunctions while, unlike, and in contrast to show contrast between the information in two clauses of a sentence. For example, in contrast to most Americans, people here usually live with their parents until they are married. The conjunctions except that, except for, and except for the fact show an exception. Note, when conjunctions come at the beginning of a sentence, the two clauses are separated by a comma. All right, that's what I was letting you know. And here we're going to be using Perfect. this. So when do we use while on like in contrast to guys? To show what? Contrasting information. Uh, contrast. contrast, correct. And when do we use except? that and for and except for, for the fact for to show an exception to show exception correct so who can mention the first <coughs> example in spanish both like tv that one in, in spanish mm -hmm. anybody ambos, ambos, le, a ambos le gusta la tv excepto, excepto mm -hmm. al típico japonés I don't see that very well. Watch is more of it. Watch is more ah, excepto el típico japonés que le gusta ver más. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Good job. Next one, please. Another volunteer. Creo, uh, Italian and Japanese people are different, uh, except for the age they get married. Okay. Eh, italianos y japoneses 
son fairly, uh, I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. The meaning of fairly, guys? Bastante. Bastante. Yeah, yeah you, you, can, okay. you can kind of say it that way. Okay. Fairly, uh, son muy diferentes. Mm -hmm. Son muy diferentes, excepto por la edad en la que ellos se casan. There you go. Fantastic. Eduardo, right? No. No? You didn't say no, it? No, no. I didn't. Who was that? Who, who gave me that example? Okay. Who, who gave me that example in Spanish, guys? Uh, Italian? Uh, I'm trying to see who was talking, so I, get, so I start uh, recognizing your voice. ¿Quién me dio ese ejemplo en español? ¿Cuál? Italian and Japanese. Uh, me, Rodrigo. Rodrigo, Rodrigo, where are you at, Rodrigo? Robert, Lourdes, Marcelo. Oh, Rodrigo, Ardon. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm trying to recognize your voices now. All right, okay. and, the, and the last one, please, super quick. Okay, Japanese. Japanese people typically consume less except for the fact that they drink more tea. Uh -huh. And in Spanish, Nidia? Los japoneses eh, típicamente consumen menos, excepto uh -huh. por el hecho de que ellos toman más té. There you go. There you go. What is the meaning of except? Excepto. Excepto. Except for? Excepto. Por el hecho. Por el hecho. Por el hecho o excepto por. All right. And except for the fact that? Excepto por el hecho B o el hecho que. Uh -huh. There you go. Pretty much like in Spanish. All right. So let's make a round of examples, guys. Um, do you have any question on when to use these type of expressions? All clear? Um, all clear. That except. Uh, uh, I have a question. Go ahead. Teacher. Um, what is the difference between the use of that and it's except and except for and except for yeah. pretty much no exception in this case okay teacher mm -hmm. teacher uh, it is it is uh, necessary to put except after the except that all the time or it depends of the of the sentence it depends on you. It depends on oh. you very much. If you see that, it's in parentheses because it's optional. Optional, mm -hmm. yeah. Like in relative clauses, right? That is most of the time optional. Okay. All right. Very good. So how do you say, I like, well, I'm not going to get into musical taste right now. Let me, let me go ahead and change my example. Um, Why not? Uh, to avoid um, issues. Confrontation. <laughs> there you go. All right, so how do you say... Rosa. <laughs> how do you say... Me gusta estudiar idiomas, excepto por el alemán. Es muy difícil. I like studying... Language. Language. Uh -huh. Languages, because I said languages. languages. Uh -huh. Uh, except for Dutch, for the fact that they Dutch, Dutch, are... Dutch is from Holland, from the Netherlands, Germany. Yeah. Uh huh. Exactly. So it will be German. German is the the uh, the language and okay. the nationality, and Germany is the name of the country. Germany. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's let's do it again, please. I like studying languages, uh -huh. except that except for, Germany, for, except, except for. that for Germany um, is very German difficult. German or Germany, excuse me? I'm sorry? German or Germany? German. German is German. the language and the nationality. Uh, German, okay, German. Germany is the, is the country. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, uh, good example. Remember something right here, okay? Mm -hmm. Or or let's pay attention to someone to something. You can use except for and except that, pretty much interchangeable, 
inter interchangeably. However, if you notice here, can you see the cursor? Can you see the little arrow that are moving? Yeah. All right, very good. Except for you have an object here, the H and then subject, verb, complement. Okay? And here you have, except that, the typical Japanese person, you can go direct into the subject without an object. I don't know if I'm making myself clear. Yeah. For some, no. oh, okay, I see, I see someone moving the head. All right. <laughs> we joined to, oh, by the way, it's good to mention, guys. I would prefer you using the camera, except when you're naked, okay? <laughs> so please don't okay. do that. But other than that, I, I would like to see your faces so we can make it more personal. I start knowing. Is there a recommendation? Yes, yes. And you see, I'm using the example. Okay. So, as I was trying to explain. Like what sorry? is the exception? When what you're naked. The... When you're not wearing any clothes, all right? I don't want to see you that way. <laughs> sorry, I can I can use it right now. <laughs> very good example. <laughs> all right, very good, very good. So Everybody get dressed, please. Yes, yes, yes. Let's make sure we don't do that. All right, so I, as I was explaining real quick here, if you notice, both like TV, except the typical Japanese watches more of it. So here you can go directly to the subject. For example, both like TV, except Mario. Okay? Or both like TV, except my brother watches soap operas. So you, go, you can go directly to the subject. And here, with except for, you can have an object. That might be the main difference. So you may use them interchangeable, but you may not. You need to know how to use it. Italian and Japanese people are fairly different. Except for the music they listen. All right? So you got music yes. right before the subject. Right before the subject, all right? Yeah. If, if someone is watching a horror movie, we can we can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. So guys, now we're gonna have some time to practice. Any question before we go to the practice? No. 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 All right, let's make it happen. I'm gonna open the chat for five minutes. Make sure you try to use real life examples, like the one I used about people getting naked. That's a good exception. So, and I'll go. I'm gonna be visiting you, so I check your progress. Let's make it happen. I'll be right there. Please accept the invite. Hi. <laughs> there is some. All right, there we go. The invite has been sent. Please accept it so we can start practicing. We're going to do this for five minutes. Hi guys, I'm still waiting for Federico, Eduardo. Maribel, did you get the invite for the group? Freddy, Eduardo, can you hear me? Hello? Freddy and Eduardo, can you both hear me? Maribel? Yeah, I hear you. All right, did you get the invite for the, for the group? Yeah. ¿Le llegó no. la notificación, la invitación? No, in my case, no. All right, you should have a little, a little square that says join. Uh -huh. So you don't see it? No. Hmm. Um, let me ask you something. Did this happen the first time we did the groups? ¿Le pasó lo mismo a usted también cuando hicimos los grupos al principio? No, uh, I, no estaba aquí. I wasn't here. Mm, okay. Uh, no, remember, I connected, I connected, I connected 
uh, a little bit late. Oh, okay. You logged in a little bit late. All right. All right. Let me try to let me try to join you. Give me a second, please. Let me ask one of my contacts here. So, can you see me now? Yes, I can see you, but I'm not able to 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 add you. Do me a, give me a second, please. I'll be right back with you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, um, other one. Mm. I like to eat pizza, except Hawaiiana. Yeah. Good example. <laughs> Good example. <laughs> um, however, the pronunciation will be pizza with T. Pizza. 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 Uh, okay. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Continue. I'm, I'm here to help. Remember, don't don't stay quiet. Uh, <laughs> no one came to the meeting except for Maria. Okay, good job. Hmm. Mm -hmm, continue. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aha, continue, guys. Come on, don't stay quiet. Try to do your best. <laughs> Okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, while you are uh, giving us example, mm -hmm. um, I am writing up, writing it. Okay, that's like okay. that's a good example, but for contrast. Right now we are oh. working with exceptions. Okay. okay. Teacher. I can also use it in the beginning of the sentence. The, these type of things? Yes. Oh, can you just, sorry, just. Well, I would recommend you to use it in the middle, in the middle, but should, I don't think it should be a problem. So for example, for example except, except the typical, mm -hmm. yeah, except for the age they get married, Italian and Japanese people are fairly different. Yeah, you can. Okay. It yes. shouldn't be any issue. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. I'll okay. be right. I'll be leaving the group and I'll be helping someone else. All right. Okay. Okay. Be right back. Hello, Maribel. Hello. All right. So I haven't been able to add you to the groups. All right. I'm going to be checking why you're not receiving the Italian, the, the, the Italian, I'm sorry, I'm still thinking of that example. Why you haven't received the invite? I already text, texted one of the technicians uh, that, that they uh -huh. take care of the group, and I'm waiting for a response. All right? Hey, don't worry. But anyways, I'm, <laughs> I'm bringing everybody is, back. Is okay. the first class? I'm sorry? <laughs> it is the first class. Class. Yeah, that's right. In the first class, we should be fixing any type of issue we might have. Uh -huh. All right, very good. So I'm going to bring everybody back so we can continue working. They should be coming soon. Uh, teacher, I don't know why, why the regal teach, teach us uh, many Many about those. Uh, about what? I'm sorry, uh, line is breaking up. Uh, about. I have a dog. The American people use American 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 people use the clothes uh, very frequently. Is is very common to use clothes? I, yes. I think uh, the clothes are the are a little bit more because in Spanish we people use. We don't use Closes, I think I don't know. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we do we, we do use them, and the native people use them also, especially in formal speaking. Uh -huh. So yes, teacher, they, they are commonly used. Mm -hmm. Teacher, um, what what you what you talk uh, what do 
what are you talking about? Maribel was asking me if, why do we why are we teaching classes? And she was asking me if native speakers use them. And I was telling them that yes, telling her that yes. We do use okay. them and this is actually when you improve your vocabulary too. Okay, mm -hmm. thanks. You're welcome. All right, guys, do you have any question about the clauses? About how to use them for except, exception and contrast? No. We're okay. No, you're okay? All right. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do something. Remember that it's super important for you to finish up the, the platform. All right? So part of my job is to help you do it online. Okay? Also, if you cannot do it online, I would strongly recommend you to do it at home. That way, you can have your progress recorded and uh, you need to complete at least 80% so you can finish yeah. the module. Okay? Yeah. So right now, we're going to be working for five more minutes, always in groups, doing the first knowledge check, and then I'll come back so we can check the progress. All right? All right. There we go. Make sure you accept the invite. Maribel, I'm going to try to add you to the group. One moment. I think I have to be the first one. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. All right, just one moment. I want to make sure you're here. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't. <laughs> I have problems using platform. If you have any issue using the platform, make sure that you uh, let us know. Type in the group what the issue is so we can help you out. All right, start accepting, please. Okay. Why are most All right, I'm still waiting for you see Freddie, Teresa, Eduardo. Uh -huh. um, I'm missing, yeah, Eduardo and Teresa. You should be getting an invitation, an invite. Okay, let me see. Join the groups. I can find it. Maribel, did you okay, get it? Okay, okay, okay. Maribel? Maribel, hi. Did you get the, inv the invite? No. Mm. All right, give me just one moment. I'm trying to fix this thing. Now, what I'm going to do in the meantime is that I'm going to work with you. Okay? I'm going to share what we are supposed to be doing. Please. Mm -hmm. Here. There you go. So now you should be able to see the knowledge check. And remember that you gotta do this on your computer also, on your platform, okay? So I did it. I did it in my, in my platform. You did while, it already. While, yeah, yeah, but I repeat it again. Okay. While online is, while most Americans live on their own before marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, here people usually live with their parents until they get married. Let us see. Number two, unlike the average American student, okay. The students here study either student. Number eight. No, letter A students here study either in the morning or the afternoon. In the afternoon. Or or the afternoon, oh, okay. In that, in that case, or the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Got it. The number three, in contrast to most Americans, the letter B. <laughs> People here don't usually have more than one TV. Mm -hmm. uh, 
and on the part two is instructions type the conjunction that is being used in each sentence use capital letter not period is needed uh, is if unlike uh, the first one is while unlike and in contrast ah i have a doubt i yeah. think it's in contrast too you have a doubt. Say it with me. A doubt. A doubt. Doubt. Mm -hmm. doubt. 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 In contrast to, but I I wrote I wrote in contrast to, but uh, the say me tell me that in forward. Okay. But I think it's in contrast to. It is in contrast to. Just go ahead and write yeah. down as I'm doing it right right now. So just in contrast. And let's mm -hmm. see if it takes it. Just in contrast. Mm -hmm. Is it letting you, is it accepting it? I think it's in contrast too. Mm -hmm. Type in contrast. Sometimes there are some uh, issues with the system. Even though it is in mm -hmm. contrast to, type in contrast to see if it works. Mm -hmm. All right, right now I'm going to be bringing all the people together. Sorry, I was not able to add you to the group, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have an answer by tomorrow, okay? Mm Alrighty, guys. So, people, you you guys are coming back now that you have been able to practice with your classmates. You have also been able to complete the uh, the platform as far as this knowledge check. Now, I want to ask you for the for the last time before we wrap it up. Do you have any questions about when to use these clauses for exceptions and contrast? No, okay. clear like as el water water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll take that as a yes. Now, guys, for tomorrow we're gonna be working with the next point. It is one point four, typical student's profile. So you know we will be having some discussion. I always try to do it during the class too, but if you have time and you have more knowledge about it, watch it before we start the class. It's only a recommendation, so you get ready, and you know you can show how good you are. All right? Okay. okay. All right, guys, you. believe me, it was a pleasure knowing you all today. This is our first class, but not the last. Make sure you yeah. do your best. Make sure you log in. Um, you have something great, and it's that you are at home, okay? Yes. Some other people have to go <laughs> yeah. through traffic, you know, spending money in the bus fare, uh, being upset because people in this country, they really don't respect while driving. So take yeah. this great benefit, log in every single day, and I'm pretty sure you're going to learn with me. If you have any question, let me know because I'm open to feedback. I'm open to help you out. Okay, guys? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So okay. my pleasure. Uh, just wrap it up. Thank you very much for joining another class here at Inglés Corporativo. And I hope to see you all tomorrow on time. I always try to log in one or two minutes after eight, so I'm not alone, but always try to be on time, okay? Okay. 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 My pleasure. It was a pleasure Bye. being with you today. Bye. Have a good night. Goodbye. Bye. Good night. 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 Bye. Bye.